All right, welcome to a quick video. This is just going to be on uh, peaks, troughs, should you have an off season, etc., things like that. Managed to sort some video out so you can actually see me for once, which is unreal scenes. So anyway, this is my training peaks for the last two years. This is pretty much when I start start uploading, more or less. I think I was a little bit early, maybe September 2017 potentially. Um, but anyway, you can see here. So this is basically my last last year and a bit um, of what happened. So you can see, obviously, like. Fair few peaks, fair few troughs. It's not um, what most people would think, which would be a really long ba build, and then like you know maintain fitness around July or so, um, well maybe from May to like August, and have a bit of off season September, um, October, and then build back up from November. Instead, you'll see that I have a lot of peaks and troughs throughout the year, mainly because I like to have time off the bike throughout the year. I don't like to have like you know maybe four weeks off the bike. I like to have varied amounts of off the bike, so maybe a week off here, week off in Easter, often I go skiing then, so that's a week off, quite nice. Obviously, still doing exercise, but a week off biking, pretty nice, um, etc. etc. Then, normally, summer holidays, maybe a week or two in the summer, that's pretty nice as well, just before hill climb season, etc. So, anyway, you can see sort of the peaks we've had. So, we'll go through 29, uh, we'll go through last year and this year, and we'll see what the differences are. Obviously, this huge peak is when I when I decked it, um, and I had about three months off the bike. Not too long to be fair and then this is just me slowly building back up you can see it's not really a it's quite a sustained build hasn't really been that rapid i've just been slowly up in the weeks it hasn't been like some of these things here um like in 2018 where i was sort of like flying up fitness and then shooting down etc um but anyway so if we look at like last year so let's say you know this time last year had um we couple weeks off in christmas which is quite nice went away um and then you know, obviously in January I started off with like 56 and sh shot up to 90, um, which in hindsight was a bit too much because I didn't recover enough in the following two weeks. I had a bit of a peak. But then you can see this is probably the most consistent part I've actually ever been, apart from this sort of longish peak, which is in May um, when I was working my gap year in London. wasn't really doing too much training, just sort of keeping fitness. But January, you'll see I don't have much time when I'm actually keeping fitness. It's either going up, peaking, or going down. There's not much like. But you, know, you can see here it's, again it's slowly going up um, and sort of goes around may then i had a week off the bike and then again peaked up but i this is where like training peaks are wrong so my best ever 20 minute power is around somewhere around here um one of these months but it's obviously lower than that um but for me obviously i was absolutely flying at this point in time um and then like during this was when i went to the outs so it was quite a big big week and obviously didn't didn't really have that many numbers um but what i'm trying to say from this video is that it's very important to have time off the bike i think um in order to reach your peaks and i think maybe I, I, you know i've obviously like last year if we look in 2018 like you can see from october um which was about here hill climb season i had a nice time off did a bit more training had a bit more time off and really like this was more just for track i normally i would have had longer off but it was bucks tracks so I was like, I'll, I'll get to do it um but yeah like i think that's the important thing for me is that you've got to um have time off the bike i think it's pretty important i think the people who generally are the fastest the people who have time off the bike don't worry about it people are always like on the bike a little bit maybe set seven hours a week consistently all year round never going to be as fast as someone who like has months off and then when they hit it they properly hit it and really go as hard as they can um but anyway we're going to find out because uh, i've had three and three and a half months off and yeah we're slowly getting back up i mean my fitness at the moment apparently is like 50 to 8 but it's just not because like I mean, compared to like over here, obviously I had a broken leg and stuff, but like, I mean, I can't do 300 watts for like 20 minutes, I don't think, yeah. And over here, I could probably do like 320, 330 easy. Um, yeah, and I, you know, I was only in January, and but apparently I have the same fitness. Uh, but yeah, cheers for watching. I'm going to try and make some more frequent videos. Whether that's going to be happening, we will see. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to try and do it. So anyway, cheers for watching. Hope you did enjoy. Um, and lots of follow on straps. Much appreciated. And cheers for watching. I'll see you in the next one.